Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we have a Raspberry Pi tech tip. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to control the volume for both the boot up video and background music in your RetroPi. You know what to do. Like and subscribe guys, like and subscribe. So this volume adjustment has worked on all the older RetroPi versions, including the latest version 4.5. Before we get started though, Go grab a USB keyboard since we're going to make these changes on the command line. We're first going to tackle the intro video. Everybody likes a really cool intro video, but if you get one that's way too loud or way too quiet, you know, it can be very frustrating. So I'm going to show you how to permanently change your volume for your intro video. First, plug your keyboard into your Raspberry Pi, then boot it up. Once it's booted up completely and emulation station is loaded, you're going to tap your F4 key and that'll get you to the command line. Perfect. Pick your poison when it comes to editing files and RetroPi. You can do it through VI if you're crazy like me, or you can use Nano. Up to you. All right, crazy people, let's get typing. sudo space vi space slash usr slash bin slash omx player, hit enter. All right, this file's got a lot of lines in it. We don't care, except for one, ld library path. So scroll down, it'll be about two thirds on the way down. Here it is, ld library path. And it's gonna have omx player bin all the way on the right. And you see where I put in dash dash vol dash 2500? That's what you're going to add in between those double quotes and the bin. So this is what it looks like before. Okay, that's the default look. So after that, you're going to insert a dash dash vol, then a space, then a number. And you're either going to have a minus sign if you're trying to soften the volume because you're taking away volume, or leave the minus sign off if you're trying to increase volume if you have a really soft video. Now the number here is in millibels, so you're going to have to convert that. So 2500, I'm basically saying subtract 25 decibels. Okay, so you have to play with it, figure out what your best number is, and then save it. After that, just type in sudo reboot. And I'm curious to see how my video is because originally it was pretty dang loud. So this ought to knock it down to where I like it. Much, much better. Music to my ears. Now, let's hit that background music because I got one that's really loud, just like my intro video, and it drives me crazy. Let's fix it. So, just like before, we're going to go to the command line, so hit your F4 key once the melee station is booted up. Perfect. The next file can ruin your day if you mess it up, so we're going to do a backup of it just in case. Here's a command that you got to run. So we're going to make a backup of autostart.sh. So sudo space cp space slash opt slash retropy slash configs slash all slash autostart.sh. And then the same path and the name of the file that you want to call the backup. In my case, autostart.sh underscore backup. All right, and then you just hit enter and that's it. Now we need to edit the file. So type in sudo space vi space slash opt slash retropy slash configs slash all slash auto start dot sh and hit enter okay so what you're looking for is mpg one two three and you'll see that it has an argument of minus f twelve thousand so let me explain that just a little bit yours will probably look like this let me copy that comment that out real quick all right so what yours is going to look like is this where the minus F and the 12,000 are not there. That's what yours should look like, or something close to it, depending on your customization. Anyway, when you pass in minus F 12,000, the value of 12,000 is a range value between 1 and 32,768. So let's say you put 16,000. So 16,000 would be roughly, well, okay, 16,000, let's do the math, 384. That would be 50% of the max available volume to play this 
uh, background music. So I put it at 12,000, which is roughly 40% because it was really, really loud and I wanted it just a little bit softer. So all you got to do is put that minus F and then whatever value you want right there and then save the file. And of course, we're going to do a sudo reboot again. That way the changes have, you know, taken effect. And let's see how my background music sounds now. Hopefully it's not blowing out my speakers again. And depending on your customization, your music may start up either before or after Emulation Station has completely started up. Mine starts actually before, but let's check it out. Moment of Truth. It sounds much better. But anyway, guys, this has been fun. If you need any help uh, with your background music or if you have a better way, you know, to reduce your volume permanently on intro videos and volume, I would love uh, to hear about it. And I'm always interested in different solutions. This is how I did it for mine. You know, hopefully you guys uh, can follow it along pretty good. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one.